What if there was a way that I could show someone my camera kit with their lenses, my case, and my accessories? Or if I could do the same with a bunch of software services? Or even if I could put a few Amazon items together that I really liked and I wanted to show my friends? Well, there is a way. Let's have a look. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jason. I'm a content creator. I make videos for YouTube. I also have a blog and quite often you can find me on Twitter. If you're enjoying the content, share this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when upcoming videos are coming out for you to view. Now, let's get into a tutorial on how to put all of this together using kit.co. So what is kit.co? Kit is a platform that allows you to curate a few products or online services into a single shoppable collection. Your followers can then make a purchase based on your recommendations from your curated kit. Why is kit.co important for creators? Well one of the first aspects about this good site is it allows you as a creator to make money. You're able to put in affiliate links to your products within your kit. Any time that you've made an amendment to your kit, where your kit is embedded on the internet, say on your website, that update is also reflected as well. Kit.co also allows you to add videos, photos and write up descriptions on your individual products within your kit so your community can understand the recommendations that you're making and help them decide on making a purchase. To create a kit.co account is very straightforward. You just create a username and a password and then edit and update your profile. So up here on the top right hand side you'll see an icon where I've previously uploaded a small photo of myself. And you just simply fill out the details here under your profile of your name and other details as listed. It's pretty straightforward. You can also put in any of your social media and Patreon URLs and links here within your account. To set up monetization for your kit.co account, click on monetize and under each of these five items here for Amazon, B&H Photo, eBay, Newegg and Flipart, if you have accounts with these you can enter your affiliate codes here. If you don't have an affiliate for any of these five, you can actually input affiliate codes direct in each item for setting up your kit. And if you also so choose, you can connect up your three social media accounts of Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. Now what happens here is when you're connected to YouTube, if you have a YouTube account, a kit.co link profile will be put into the description of each video that you create. In December of 2019, Kit also had a website change. They changed their name from kit.com to kit.co. So if you haven't updated your links in quite a while, you'll need to select this task here to convert all of your kit.com links to kit.co. If you don't, you miss out on the benefits of those links that which have not been updated. Once your account is set up, Obviously, I do have some kits already set up here. Once you've set up your profile, you have a view of your profile page that you see here. I've already created some kits, therefore you can see some kits here. But what you have is you can change your cover image. You can remove a cover image. You can edit your profile here, of course. And this button here allows you to create a new kit. This button here lets you know about any new notifications, especially if people have started to follow you and your account to be able to view your kits. And this button here allows you to explore editing and viewing your profile, as well as any analytics that you have. So down here below, at the moment, it's showing that I have six kits on hand that I've created. I have one follower. 
Miss Eileen Smith is my only follower at the moment. I am following eight other people and watching what they're doing with their kits. But importantly too, once people start following you and start viewing your kits, you do have the ability to see what's happening with some very basic analytics. Now when I started my account at the end of December or the beginning of January here, it did start off a little bit with a bang, but because I haven't been promoting for a while, it's gone down to a bit of a whimper. But you do see some individual statistics here based on each of your kits. So it's showing that the top two of my kits over the last 30 days has been relatively quiet, but you do get some more information on some of your individual items in, within your collection, within your kit, of how many people have viewed the individual products, and then how many have clicked. Obviously, you would need to check the individual analytics of any of your affiliate accounts to see about any clicks or purchases that have been made there. Right, on to creating your first kit. On the top right here, click on the green button with the white plus. Here you can see that you can create a new kit or add to an existing kit. Here we're going to create new. Give your kit a name. Now in this example up here, I've got three books on YouTube that I'll link from Amazon affiliates into this kit. And we'll just call this YouTube Books Required Reading. And we'll just fast forward to me adding a description. Once you've got your description in, simply click Next. And your kit is created. Now here we go, you can either search for a product, especially if you're using something like Amazon, or you can paste in a link. We're going to paste in the link just to simplify the process here. So the first item I want to add is a book called YouTube Ritual Jumpstart Your Journey to 5,000 YouTube Subscribers by Brian G. Johnson. So I've set up here a pre-selection for just for a short link to add. We just simply copy and paste. Once you've got your link here, click on the green button with the white arrow and then you can enter your product name, your description, and add a product. Once you've added the item, if it's been added before, the product name, the description and a product image will automatically populate. But if this is the first time that you've added something to this kit, you need to manually fill out all of the items and descriptions yourself. Once you've got all your details filled out for your product name, your product description and an image if you wish to add, you simply add to kit. Kit.co then shows you've added your product. You can then close and keep your kit as one item, view your kit as it's seen, or add more products. We'll add two more products now, so we've got a little bit more detail in our kit for YouTube books required reading. As you can see here, I've now created three items for this kit, and you just simply view kit. Once your kit is created, if you've set up something like Twitter, you can automatically default to sharing on that platform or you can simply share later after filling out your details here. So here we go. Here's the YouTube books required reading kit that we've just created which shows you each picture, each title and each description. You can add a comment or other followers can add comments to your products. You can edit the product people can view on Amazon to see and you get the benefit if they make a purchase at no extra cost. You can add more products and you can actually share this GIF in various means with creating a GIF to share on social media, directly on Facebook, Twitter, via email as a link and you can also share to Pinterest and copy a short link to be able to share on other platforms. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you get future videos. And we'll see you on the next video.